Hey there, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. And I get asked by guys all the time, Dr. A, how many calories do I burn in a day? What's my exact number? And once I have that number, what does that mean, practically speaking, as it relates to how many calories I need to be eating if my goal is to lose weight or build muscle? We're gonna cover all that in this video because it's an incredibly important question. Um, in addition to actually giving you some of the background of how many calories you burn in a day, uh, we actually create a free calorie calculator here at the Fit Father Project over on our blog. So you can, if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the links in the description or if you're on our blog, just scroll below, check out the article. We have this 100% free calorie calculator where you can actually type in your age, your weight, your gender, and your activity level and it's gonna crank out the exact number of calories that you burn in a day. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to practically use that number. So it's a really useful tool. Make sure to check that out. And other than that, let's dive on in, my friend. Get out a pen and paper because I know you're gonna learn a ton and we're gonna figure out how many calories you burn in a day. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so to really start the big picture overview discussion before we get to the, the calorie calculator, we need to talk about some primary definitions as it relates to how many calories you burn in a day. The total number of calories that you burn in a day is called your total energy expenditure, or TEE. That's the total number of calories you burn in a 24-hour period. And now that TEE number is actually broken up into two different components. The first one is called your basal metabolic rate or your BMR. That is how many calories your body burns just maintaining life because your muscles, your organs, particularly your brain, require calories just to function, just to maintain life. So if you woke up and you just laid in your bed all day for 24 hours and didn't move a muscle and you just breathed and just existed like this in a bed, that would roughly be your BMR. How many calories that you burn every single day without any activity? just maintaining life. And now, a couple things about BMR is BMR is largely based off of your size and your gender. So bigger people have bigger bones, bigger muscles, bigger organs, so naturally, that more calories are required. They burn more calories than smaller people. And men typically tend to have a higher BMR than women because oftentimes men have a little more muscle mass and just there's a, there's a slight uh, gender difference between BMR. So that's the BMR component, but you know, practically speaking, we don't just lie in bed all day. We have jobs, you know, we go to activities, we take care of our families, we exercise. So we actually have to layer on the number of calories calories that we burn on top of our BMR, and that's our activity factor. And when we take the BMR plus the calories we burn from our activity factor, that gives us our total energy expenditure. And so we've been trying to calculate this, how many calories do I burn in a day for hundreds of years, since the first nutrition scientists in like the 17, 1800s um, were really looking at this. And there is our formulas and calculators that are able to pretty reliably predict how many calories that you burn in a day based on your height, your weight, your age, your gender, and your activity factor. And one of the best ones is known as the Harris-Benedict equation. Um, and it's a very complicated equation that I'll, I'll throw below. Um, and Essentially, it allows you to enter your height, weight, age, etc., and it cranks out your a rough estimate of your BMR, the number of calories you burn without activity, and then we can multiply that number by an activity factor, aka if you were to work out one to three times per week, you have a certain activity factor, then if you work out more, you'll have a higher activity factor because you're burning more calories. And from your BMR multiplied by your activity factor, we end up getting your total energy expenditure. Thankfully, um, we hate math, so what we did is we actually created a calorie calculator in Excel, um, in Google Sheets, you have free access to, you can check that out, um, that actually has all these formulas in there. So all you have to do is just type in your height, eight, weight, weight, age, and gender, and it actually gives you that TEE number, which is awesome. So really convenient tool, and that's where I recommend you start. So definitely check out that calorie calculator. Again, it's free, it's right there on Google Sheets, so you can access it, make a copy, and really figure out what your TEE is. And once you have that number, your total energy expenditure, which is based on your BMR plus the average amount of activity that you do, um, what do you do with that number? Well, let's start off with the two main goals that people may have. Uh, one goal might be to lose some weight. The other goal might be to build muscle. We'll start with weight loss. If your goal is to lose weight, we have to make sure that you are eating fewer calories than your TEE number. So let's say, for example, that you are a 250 pound man and you wanna lose some weight and you wanna lose about a pound a week. Let's just say that's your number. So 
A TEE for roughly a 250 pound man who exercises one to three times per week might be around 2,500 calories. This is a pretty good estimate, roughly around there. Now we know to lose weight that we have to be in a calorie deficit. We need to eat fewer calories than we burn. So what we can do is make sure that if we wanna lose one pound a week, that we decrease the number of calories from our TEE by 500 calories a day. So that guy who has a TEE of 2,500 calories would wanna shoot for a diet that has 2,000 calories per day, just a 500 calorie reduction every single day. So when it comes to weight loss, the easiest way to create that calorie deficit, the deficit between the number of calories we're eating and our TEE is simply to eat less. It's not exercise. You know, cutting back on really high calorie foods is the easiest way to create that calorie deficit that we need for weight loss. On the other side, you can go out and try to exercise more. So let's say that guy goes out in addition to reducing the high calorie foods he's eating, eating more veggies and proteins as opposed to fried foods and snacks and chips and sodas. That's gonna help him create that deficit. He can also go out and exercise. And what that does is increases your TEE. So we're both decreasing your ingestion of calories and increasing your TEE. That's going to create a deficit that's going to create weight loss. Now, we have a lot of in-depth training on our Fit Follower Project blog on weight loss and how to do that properly because, you know, you don't want to follow a crash diet that's going to be unsustainable. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out our free one day weight loss meal plan for men. Um, it's one of our most downloaded resources here at the Fit Follower Project. Over 50,000 guys are currently using that. So definitely check that out if your goal is to lose weight. But let's shift gears and talk about muscle building for a second. As it relates to your TE, once we've calculated that, to build muscle, it's helpful to be in a slight calorie surplus. So let's say, take a, a 200 pound man, for example, and let's just say that he's a little more active than our 250 pound man from before who wants to lose weight, and they roughly have the same number of calories they burn every day. Their TE is the same, it's still 2,500. Although he's a lighter guy, he has a lower BMR, he's a little more active. He exercises three, four times a week, so he still has a TE of around 2,500 calories. For this 200 pound man who wants to build muscle, we wanna make sure that he's eating you know, at least 250, if not 300, 400 calories over his TEE. So if we know his TEE is 2,500, it'd be a good idea to start a muscle building diet of around 2,800 calories. Because that little bit of surplus extra calories over what you burn per day is what your body can use to build new muscle tissue. Building muscle is an anabolic process. That means building up. So we need to give your body the proper proteins, carbs, and healthy fats to do that. So we need to eat over our TEE. A mistake that people make when it comes to muscle building is they eat way over the TEE. You might have heard of people who do bulking diets where they just eat everything in sight. They might eat 1,000 uh, if not 2,000 calories over their total energy expenditure, what that's gonna do is really lead to a lot of fat gain. Yes, you're gonna build some muscle about this much, but the rest of that's gonna be fat gain. That ends up being a very bad scenario. So instead, what you wanna do is just have a slight calorie surplus um, over. Even 300 calories is enough, and a great way to do that is just to have a nice post-workout shake after you exercise that has around 40 grams of protein, 50, 60 grams of healthy carbs. That'll be around those 250, 300 calories you need to build muscle. So that's in a nutshell. Your TEE is the number of calories you burn per day. And we can calculate that for you using a free online calorie calculator here at the Fit Father Project. And then practically speaking, once we have that number, we're gonna adjust it. We're gonna decrease it, um, eat fewer calories than that TEE if you wanna lose weight, or we're gonna go over it by about 300 calories if you wanna build muscle. Um, and now, if you wanna make that practically simple on how to help improve that stuff, then definitely check out our free one-day meal plan here at the Fit Follower Project. This is what we help thousands of guys do every single day, um, and we're here to help you, and we'll send that straight to your email, and we'll help you apply that TEE to an ac actual meal plan, what to eat for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner, so you can make that simple and practicable and a sustainable meal plan you can actually stick to. Sound good? Well, I hope you found this valuable. If you like this video and you're watching on YouTube, definitely give us a thumbs up and let us know that this was helpful. Uh, me, me and my Fit Follower Project team, we love your feedback. And if you like this video, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of videos on our channel right now um, on nutrition, exercise uh, tutorial videos, motivation, weight loss, muscle building, all the things you need to know to stay strong and healthy your family. We are the Fit Father Project, this is what we do. So thanks for stopping by my friend and definitely subscribe to our newsletter, get that free meal plan, get some of our free workouts and I hope to see you around the channel in our next videos and I'll talk to you very soon.